Hello, what's up? How you guys doing today? Dude, sick couch here. Time for another Stardew Valley chill stream because this is one of my favorite things to do. And I'm probably never going to stop. We're in day seven of winter, year one. Uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend. My weekend's been all right, other than the whole being sick thing. Let's see. Clear and sunny tomorrow, perfect weather for the Festival of Ice. The event will take place in the forest starting between 9 and 2. Okay, I don't really remember what that's all about, but we'll check it out. And we have decent luck today. Huh, might be a mine day. Clean of sauce, plum pudding. Little Jack Horner is championing the bit for his this ooey gooey delight. And who can blame him? The plums are floral and sweet with just the right amount of tartness to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. You just have to try it and see for yourself. Alright. We learned how to cook plum pudding. That's a thing I'm gonna be making all the time. Rest assured about that. What's up, Pierre? Hello there, dude. So your first year in Sardew Valley is almost over, huh? Yeah, what of it? If you keep busy buying... Or, sorry, if you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. Okay. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. <laughs> okay. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. Pierre's seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. He's talking about Joja Mart. Don't even bother with those a-holes. Dude, flip this litter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon. Emily taught us how to make red plates. I don't know what a red plate is. Dear Mr. Dude, Last night, a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been billed 673 gold for this service. So that's what happens if you don't make it back to bed each night. <laughs> A Joja guy finds you and you get billed for being an idiot. It's fair. Found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build with it or something. George. George gave us 35 stone. Alright, thanks. Wow, look at all this mail. Dear dude, tomorrow we'll all be... We're all gathering in front of Marty's house for the Festival of Ice. <clears throat> it's a celebration of winter. There will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to participate. The mayor. All right, I understand. And I will probably do that. I was thinking about this yesterday, guys, and I think I actually want to swap the uh, lightning rods with the kegs and all this other stuff. I don't like this layout down here. I just did it because I had to do something. But reflecting on it, I, I'm not sure this is the way I want this. But I'm not sure how I would do it up here either. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But let's go take care of our chickens. Part of the old daily routine here. Right now, as long as <clears throat> as long as we only have the two chickens, it's not a huge deal to stay on top of it. Um, sell the mayonnaise. I never put this other stuff away yesterday. Oh, I had two two gates. Look at that, Sandy. Uh, I'm gonna throw the gates in here because clearly I don't need them right now. Those will go in there. These will go in there. Cakes take oak resin and copper bars. Uh, I don't think I can make any of those right now. I was thinking like, I do need to make as many kegs as possible. 
so that um, I can just start tearing through all the fruit I had backed up. But I don't think I can actually make those because I lack the required copper. Oh, there's a worm wedge back there. Better get it. Could be an artifact that I don't have yet. Got to be diligent about these. So I'm going to run down here and check the secret merchant. Plum pudding. Hey, I know how to make this now. Algae soup. Gross. We could buy a large egg. We could buy two large eggs for the community center, but I'm not going to because there's no rush on this and we're going to start getting these eventually. So... The Muzza Maru furniture? I have no idea what the hell that is. But I'm just gonna ignore that for now, I think. <laughs> okay. Let's get up here. Put away the stuff that we just picked up. Probably check for any quests in town. In case there's a quest waiting for me in the mines. I could do a two birds, one stone kind of deal. Right, I took those out for gifts. Uh, throw that in there, I guess. I was keeping those anywhere else, was I? Oh, I do have some in there. Anyway. You go in there. And let's actually let's take some of this stuff up and throw it in the chest up there to keep around for energy purposes, like all these different berries. Yes, I like that plan. It's a solid plan. So much forage. Look at it all. Hey, I'm already finding some copper ore. <laughs> This music's kind of pretty. It's kind of the opposite of the depressing, wistful music, and I appreciate it for that. Today's Caroline's birthday. Oh, snap. I wonder if she'd be like her mom, or like her daughter. Rather, maybe she would like Amethyst? Or Jade? Or Peaches? I'm gonna try giving her a peach if I can find her. That. I can walk into her room. Please like this. Please like this. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Okay. I am A-OK -okay with that. I'm just going to leave your door open because it wouldn't close from me clicking on it. And while I'm in here, uh, here, you take that. All right, roller boy, get out of my way. I am on a bit of a schedule here. Oh, you know what? Um, there you go. Jody! Crocus? Nice. My focus is all Crocus. That's a strong bad reference for you kids. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I mentioned this would happen. Yesterday. Hi, dude. Bear with me, guys. I gotta drink this hot tea. It's really good for my throat. It makes me not cough so much, which is good. 
It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. <coughs> this stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Well, you see, there's these little things called Junimos, and they like when I bring things into the community center, and when I bring enough things, then they go out and do work for me. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what this means, right? Oh, you know what? I think I said it was Linus who was going to give us the pan. But clearly I was wrong. It's Willy. It means we can start painting for ore. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Willy's such a nice, generous guy. He's just always throwing things our way. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. All right, received a copper pan. Yeah, so I think this whole thing is generally useless. Because I think that the glistening in the water has to be like really close to the shore, like close enough for you to actually use it. I can't swear to that. I don't know if it would ever pop up like in the middle of a body of water. Because I've just, I've never even really tried this myself. I've never been in a position to actually try it. That's how rare and useless it is. So, whatever. It's one more thing in my inventory, I guess. Lots of berries. Probably gonna end up using them a lot, I think. Ooh, we don't need the axe, but we do need the pickaxe. <laughs> and I'm out of bombs. That is unfortunate. I don't have enough to craft any right now. Enough materials to craft any. Uh, we'll figure that out. Okay. Let's go. Since we got here fairly early, I would actually like to make some progress today. that ladder showed up oh my god look at this okay let me just look around here because there's some gold up there okay this guy doesn't stop for anything dude he just keeps rolling through jeez look how much damage these little bastards are doing to me already Kill it. Kill it with fire. Like, 
They don't get knocked back at all, and they just do crazy damage. That's all I needed. I need a better sword, man. But that was a very excellent drop of the ladder, so thanks for that. Ah. That's right, these guys shoot magic out. Die. You must die. Ah! Yeah, come to think of it, I've been using the sword for a while, and I haven't gotten a better drop. I imagine we'll get one. What the fuck? Oh. Dropped an entire crab. It didn't let me pick it up right away. It was weird. But yeah, I've been using this forest sword for quite a while, and it's, it's a good sword, but I think it's starting to show its age with these monsters down here. when you consider that there's been more monsters down here than there's been actual, like, resources so far. Oh my god, I hate the bats. It's like they just spawn in endlessly and annoy the hell out of you. Make a big circle. Okay, good. I'm just leaving. Whenever the mist comes in like that, it means you're about to get ambushed by a bunch of monsters. It just sucks. Just leave. Dude. I need something with some knockback on it, man. You know what? I'm gonna make sure I keep my health up, because... It's so easy to just die really quickly in this game. Totally unexpectedly. Let me go through these berries first, I think. Two mushrooms. Is this a mushroom floor? Not sure if I've talked about it yet, guys, but... <coughs> There's a thing in the mines called a mushroom floor. You can probably guess from the name that it's a floor where a lot of mushrooms show up. <laughs> but it's on a different floor every day. And if you find it, you can just keep going to that floor over and over again. Um, all day long. And harvest a crap ton of mushrooms. And you'll actually make a lot of money that way. Because mushrooms actually sell for a decent amount. So if you're lucky enough to find it on, like, say, floor 81, like a floor that you can just take the elevator to right away, you can just farm it all day long. And you will be very happy. Uh. Ow, he actually hit me. dropping entire crabs. That's weird. <laughs> oh. Surprise attack. Oh, he dropped a bomb for me. Dropping bombs. That was the most expertly timed attack. God damn it.
God. <coughs> like, how freaking much damage do these guys need to do? Shooting me with your magic crap. I don't even know what it's doing, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's putting some kind of curse on me. Jinx, minus eight defense. Is that why I'm taking so much damage? No, it's not lasting all that long. Diamond. I wish I'd been able to make more progress, because I am actually having decent luck today. It's just that there's so many strong enemies down here. It really delayed me. And they just spawn endlessly. They never stop. Hearts. Alright, let's, uh, let's hoe a little bit while we're down here. This is the last floor I'm going to do, really. Rusty Cog. Oh, this is this dwarven tech. Okay, I'll, I'll save that to give to the dwarf. Can you just let me hoe up some land by myself for like two seconds? Why is that so much to ask? Freaking bats. Getting late, but that's okay. We have the mines, the minecart that we can just take back. Fuck. Hoe where I tell you. You'll never get anywhere hoeing like that. Alright. Please be a new sword. Yeah! City and Edge. That is sexy. 30 to 45. I'm actually going to lose some speed on this. And defense. Oh, Jesus. But it does way more damage. 30 to 45 as opposed to a max of 18. I guess it's worth it. Easy pickings right at the beginning? No. All right, I'm leaving. Okay. I didn't find nearly as much stuff as I wanted to find there, in terms of ore. But I did find a lot of other random crap, so that's something, I guess. Uh, okay. I don't have nearly enough space for everything. Bombs can stay. Everything else is stuff I literally want to bring with me. I can take the clay. All right. Well, I'd rather leave. Uh, I'd rather bring the gifts with me. And I'd rather leave these random resources that I know I'm not going to be using anytime soon. So. Let's do that, I think. That's probably good enough, I think. Okay.
Then we take the minecart, not to town, that's the wrong place. The bus stop. You guys see how long it took just to get through five floors there? Oh, and look, my diamond's done and my crystallarium. So I just grab that and I can just sell it straight up. I sell these mushrooms too. That'll be some decent money. Okay. Everything goes in there. Ore goes in there along with the stones. Oh, I actually already have eight gold bars. That's pretty dope. I didn't realize I had that many. I could get a tool upgrade. But here's the other thing, guys. Uh, with the night market coming up, it's a very unique event that happens in winter. It's a three-day thing, and there's actually a lot of unique stuff to buy there. Like, a lot. So I actually have to kind of save up my money a little bit. I want to make sure that I have a decent amount of money to spend at the night market. Which means I might not even go for that coop upgrade right away. Because that's what I was saving towards yesterday. But then I thought about it and I was like, that's going to be like most of my money when I get that amount. And I'm not going to have enough time to save up more. So I might actually hold off on the... Uh, Uh, the coop upgrade for now. And I'm going to start giving the wizard void essence because I, I try to keep the amount of void and solar essence that I have even because I think they're used in crafting something really good. And um, he loves both of them equally. So he's going to get some void essences this week. And I can put the coal in there. I guess I should actually smelt some stuff. There. All right. Oh, why did I bring the slingshot? I'm a dumbass. Ugh. I have to take that back. Okay. Yep, so diamond sell for seven fifty a piece. Two of them is fifteen hundred. It's pretty nice. And that was one of those was just a free one I got from the crystallarium. Crap sell for one twenty five. Not bad. Three mushrooms went for over three hundred. And then of course the mayonnaise. Yeah, I know that there's one item at the night market that I want to buy. Like, I for sure want to buy, and I think that's like 1,500 gold just by itself, and then there's a lot more beyond that, too, so I need to save up. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are very happy today. Look at that. <coughs> Living off the land says, find any tree seeds while chopping wood. You can plant those in the ground and a new tree will grow. Get creative. Well, I tried that and it didn't work the best for me. <laughs> Dear dude, nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your own garden. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care. Carolyn taught us how to make parsnip soup. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I sent you. Well, goodbye. Emily gave us some wool. That's actually a thing she loves. I'm going to give that right back to her. So thanks anyway, Emily, but uh, <laughs> you're just going to get that back. Ooh, okay. Um, so today's that ice festival thing. Which actually sucks, because I'd love to go to the mines today. I think, it's gonna, I think the vessel is going to take up most of our day, so. I should stow one of these emeralds. We should sell that. Let's go check the fruit. 
cave. We haven't checked that for quite a while. Good boy, Rimshot. Have some water. Apricots. I need pomegranate, right? I'm never going to find a pomegranate in here, though. So maybe they'll actually let me go into town today, though? Uh, what am I doing here? That's not what I want. I'm gonna take all these back up to the mines. Actually, let's see if it'll let me into town. I want to check for quests again. Ooh. There's crystal fruit hanging out right there, too. No new quests. All right, then. Well, let's just take a ride up here. Still got my pan on me, so we can look for glittering water. But I don't see it. Festival of Ice has begun. Okay. So I'm going to drop all those off, and then I'm going to take back... That stuff. And they're not open, so I can't sell this yet. I'll just leave that in there. And the slingshot. That has to get dropped off, too. Alright, let's see if... Clint is open so I can process these magma geodes. Even though it's a festival right now. It's locked. Damn it. Was it too early? No. <laughs> Okay. That was a fishing hotspot. You know what? I can fish for a little bit. I got time. I don't have to be down there till two. A little ice fishing. A little treasure. Oh yeah, that largemouth bass, baby. Give me that ore. Alright. Alright, set it down. Guy's a jerk. What is that, sturgeon? I don't remember them being that tricky. Okay. What is the bait situation? 37? It's more than I thought I had. A lot of different kinds of fish here. Good variety in these here waters. Oh, too far.
Oh, we got another sturgeon here. get this distance exactly right and I'm terrible at it I didn't see the chest, so it was too late. It was actually really weird having it down below like that. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this refined quartz. Oh, I, I still need to donate one of these? I did not even realize that. Huh. <laughs> We need to donate that to the museum. That's that's a thing that will add to our total, which I have never done. Okay. Good job, me. Maybe I will hang on to that then. I don't know what to drop for this. It's an iridium quality, though, so I gotta take that. Uh, 14 bat wings, I guess. It, it sucks losing that, but whatever. Alright. Let's get down to the show. Stop and sell some things along the way, I think. <coughs> oh my god. Hold on, tea time. <coughs> so it is now... It is Sunday morning in my neck of the woods here, in real life. And, uh... I've been sick since the Thursday before last Thursday. <laughs> However many days that is. And I'm really getting tired of it, if I can be honest with you. Just really hoping it doesn't last that much longer. So I'm going to store the snow yam and the crystal fruit in here because I think we can actually use those a bit later for a thing. Uh, maybe not. Actually, I don't know if I have the recipe yet, but... Yeah, that might come into play at some point. So I'm going to store those for now. And then what can we do? Uh, one more gold and one silver bar. Iron, iron bar. weird because there was like there were two days where I, th I felt like it was getting better and then it just like came back full force really annoying okay we already took care of chickens today right can't remember. Just want to make sure I didn't forget about that. Yeah, they're good. Might as well sell this mayonnaise while I'm in here. And we're cutting it close, but don't worry. We'll, we'll get to the event in time. Gonna head straight there right now. Welcome to the Ice <coughs> Festival, or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? Oh, ice. A beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent. 
That's the beauty of it, right? But I guess that might make the art even better. Yeah, see, Leah gets it. It's rare that Willie ever loses, though. Oh, uh, the fishing competition? I'll beat Willie. Maybe. I'm sorry, but carving nice parapets requires my undivided attention. Okay. The forest looks beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? I think everything looks beautiful in the winter. How's winter coming along for you, dude? It's been alright so far. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. I'm the same way. Hey dude, are you gonna enter the ice fishing competition? Oh, not me. I don't know how to fish. I should clarify, I do get cold, but I just don't care. It doesn't bother me. Like, some people act like when they're cold, it's like physically painful for them, and I don't get that. The most I can say is, like, it's uncomfortable. But, you know, it's not a big deal. I saw a big fish down there. Okay. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. This snow is so cold I can't feel my fingers anymore. They're called gloves, dumbass. Uh, guys, I, I need to go blow my nose. I'll be right back. Sorry, seriously, just give me like 20 seconds here. stream ever. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dale? Freezing on a bus stop waiting for a ride home? <laughs> Sorry, man. Hope your bus shows up soon. Alright, what were we doing? What do you think of my snow goon? <laughs> snow goon, that's funny. I guess winter isn't all bad. Playing in the, in the snow can be fun. Snowmen are okay, I guess, but mostly I'm looking forward to the spring. I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Willie is going to be pretty hard to beat, though. He does this kind of stuff day and night. Yeah, I think between me and Willie, you're not going to have a chance, Pam. Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? Gulp. <laughs> Flint's all terrified of actually interacting with Emily. I get it. Girls are scary. I want to give him a carrot nose. Huh, what kind of snowman should we make? A classic one, carrot nose, top hat, scarf, something funky, icicle antennas, pinecone eyes. Snowmen are boring. Think outside the box. <sighs> I think Penny would probably like the classic answer, because she doesn't strike me as a very adventurous kind of girl. But I'm going to try saying something funky. Okay, that sounds like fun. Yeah, she liked that idea. Yay. Okay, we've talked to all these folk. We can't go into these little... igloo hut things. Let's see if anybody's chilling over there. Nope. Can't go into Leah's house during the event. We haven't talked to these folks. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in this very festival. <laughs> That's pretty good. He was a gentleman back then and came over to see if I was okay. Huh. Wife dragged me out into the cold for this. 
So wait, he he pegs you with a with a snowball accidentally? If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. That's a great idea. Shane, you're a man after my own heart. Except for the rampant alcoholism. Let's see, let's see. Oh, here's some more people. Uh, let me poke around up here first, actually. I can't believe this whole area over here is open. Holy crap. They got the secret woods blocked off. There's the wizard. Oh, but he's blocked off too. Igloo buildings and art I picked up from the tundra dwellers who live beyond the frozen sea. That was many years ago. An igloo makes a nice home, but it's easier to just stay in my tent year-round. You just gonna drop something like that and then not explain what the hell the tundra dwellers are? <laughs> I guess it's in the name. It just sounds like there's some really rich history there. I'd like to know more about them. Alright. I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. Well, they have fur. They're fine. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Oh, and enjoy the festival. Alright. Sorry there's no food. Unforgivable. Just wait until the Feast of the Winter Star. You'll be stuffed for days. Better be. I want to get stuffed. Hey, dude, ready for some ice fishing? Yep, I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Eh, hey, Willie. You know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. <laughs> and they blocked that line off, too. Okay. Oh, uh... Hello, monster. How you doing, man? Sorry, I had to highlight your name, because it was actually hard to read. I used the dark theme, and with the blue text, I couldn't make out who it was at first. I'm doing the Ice Festival here in Stardew Valley. I'm still very sick, so I apologize for that. Also, I, I like your dudeness. That's, that's pretty good. No one's ever called me that before. All right, ice fishing. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to, to compete. Let's do it. Yes. All right, everyone, let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. I may actually be at a disadvantage here because I still have the bamboo rod and not the iridium one. But whatever. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. Oh, they give us one. You must catch your fish here from these holes in the ice. Well, is everyone ready? Begin. Okay, here we go. I don't know how much control I really have over like how many fish I end up catching. Like if this hole doesn't really provide, I guess I should go to the other one. It seems to be hitting fairly frequently though. Ah, uh, come on. All right, go into this one. I need to catch more than this. I want to catch four during this next minute. And I'm pretty sure Willie's already caught like six. <laughs> Wait, 
Going for all perfect catches, too. Okay, one more. Let's go. I know I can get one more. Get another one started. Come on. Bite. Bite, damn you. Yes. Let me finish it. No. That sucked. I don't think I could do any better than that. <coughs> wow, that's a lot of fish. Ugh, the smell. <laughs> Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. Dude, with seven big slimy fish. Hell yeah. I did it. Here's your prize. Enjoy. What's our prize? Ooh. I get a sailor's cap. I get a dress spinner fishing tackle, barbed hook, and magnet bait. So the dress spinner... Increases the bite rate when fishing. And the barbed hook causes the fishing bar to cling to your catch. Works best on slow, weak fish, so it's basically useless. <laughs> if the fish are slow and weak, then I don't need help catching them. But sure, I'll take that stuff. <laughs> well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now let's release these poor fish. Oh, we're not going to keep them and eat them? Or sell them? I want to sell mine. We'll go with the catch and release method then. I can't believe I won. Well, time to head home. And that took pretty much all day. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'll just wear the sailor's cap <laughs> for the rest of winter, I guess, because that's fun. And honestly, guys, pretty sure I'm just going to sell these. I'll get more later if I really want them. And I, I think they actually sell for a decent amount, believe it or not. Okay, um, the hat and the pan are both going to go in here, I think, because I don't need to be carrying them around. It's a waste of space. All right, let's use up some of our energy before we go to sleep today. Gonna chop down some trees somewhere. There we go. You all look like you could use a good chopping. Beautiful retro game, fun music, very relaxing. Can't believe it's the work of one dude. I know, isn't that just amazing? One guy, Concerned Ape, made this whole game from scratch. It's very inspiring. You consider the fact that he did the art, the programming, the music, like everything involved with making a video game. I feel like that just takes a level of talent that, frankly, a lot of people just don't have, you know? Or at least a level of dedication. I guess you can learn to be decent at those things if you apply yourself. But how many people would, would like, really take the time to do that, you know? I'm going to finish up all these rocks down here. So let's go down here. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Hey, pickled amaranth is ready. I can finally throw these other ones in here and get them out of my inventory. They've been in my inventory for like two months. <laughs> and I finally have a... I've cleared them out. I now have 888 stones, which is awesome. 
I know that seems like more stones than anybody needs, but trust me, we'll probably end up using them all at some point. So, um, yeah, look, the barbed hook and the dress spinner sell for 500 each. Magnet bait, I probably should have just held on to. I didn't realize that was so cheap. But, no biggie. Um, I'm perfectly happy with the uh, sell amount on the other two, so. Not bad. So let's see what we're going to get into. It's going to snow tomorrow. Please tell me it's a good luck day. I want to go back to the mines. Somewhat mildly perturbed. Well, that's happened before and the mines still turned out okay. Okay, look, our first batch of winter seeds is done. They grow snow yams, winter roots, crystal fruits, and crocus. So we can just sell all these straight up and we'll make decent money from it. But also, if I'm able to craft winter seeds, and I'm not sure that I can yet, but if I can, then it takes one each of these ingredients. So we can basically just craft more seeds and kind of keep recycling them like that. And keep making more and more money. Let's see. Oh, look, I can. Yep, it takes one of each kind, and then they produce 10 seeds each. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to go off to the side, and then try and count this in my head while it's paused. So I have four uh, quality sprinklers. That's 32. And then four regular. That's 16. So I could do 48 of these. Which I think I can craft with what I've got. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So I'm going to plant 48 of these and I'm going to sell the rest. And actually that's why I was holding on to this in here. But I don't really need them now. So yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to bother fertilizing. I don't even know if that works in the winter. <laughs> it probably does. But I don't care. I'm gonna save my fertilizer because I may end up needing a lot of that come springtime. I didn't mean to plant this first. I'm gonna try to be careful not to hoe this up. There we go. so weird planting things in winter. <laughs> but it's also kind of cool to be getting some actual usage out of our sprinklers during this time. Okay, that leaves me with two seeds, so I'll just hold on to those. So where did you get this game? Uh, I've actually bought this game three times. This is the PC version I'm playing right now. This is the first version I bought. And then um, when it came out for PS4 and Xbox One, I wanted a console version, so I bought it on PS4. And then when they came out with the Switch version, I wanted to be able to go mobile with it, so I also bought it on Switch as well. And um, I don't regret it because I'm very happy about supporting an independent game developer like this. Um, it's The game is cheap. Like I don't even remember how much it's supposed to be like, like at market retail price. But it's almost always on sale. Like, I'm pretty sure you usually get it for, like, less than 20 bucks. So, yeah. I've been, I've been very happy to buy this game multiple times. And I'm going to 
sell all of those. Probably should have held onto the crocus because they make good gifts, but I'll find more. <laughs> no biggie. And then I need to store these in here, but I need to make room. Let's take out the spice berries. Oh, and these. Actually, there's a lot of stuff in here that I can take out. And there's more winter roots in here. Look at that. Okay, yeah. Sell all the winter roots. I'm gonna throw this stuff in the gift bin. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, for some reason, this square here is not watered. So I'm just gonna hit that up. Wanna make sure that these all actually grow at the same time. I guess these squares don't count as being watered because they weren't hoed when the sprinklers went off this morning, I guess. No big deal. It's 1900 here in England. What time do you have? Uh, here it is 12 o'clock noon. No, put it in the thing. Thank you. Good chickens. Keep making me eggs. I want tons of them. All right, so we have sort of shit luck today. Let's take a trip down south. We'll farm some hardwood and we will give the wizard a present. Another rusty spur. What happened to that quartz that I was holding on to? I was keeping that in my inventory specifically so that I would remember to go donate it, and now I don't know what I did with it. But I'll just take another one, whatever. And I should really just sell this while I'm here. Okay. Now away we go. Look at how happy Rimshot is with all this open space to roam around in. Seven hour difference. Yeah, that's actually not as much as I thought it would be. Seven hour difference between the Midwest United States and England? Is that right? Try out our new obsidian edge. So even with the speed penalty, it doesn't really feel that much slower, so I'm happy about that. And it's doing way better damage, I can tell already. So yeah. here for the combat experience and then we can go Ooh, another book. I also watch a dude called darkness I think he lives in Georgia uh, I think Georgia is probably one hour faster than where I am think. I don't really make a secret of it. I live in Colorado, so I'm on Mountain Standard Time. Okay, have one of these. 
I trust you enough to allow you in my basement. Treat what you find there with respect. That's the outfit change station that I showed you guys last time. Ugh, oh, my tea's cold now. It's not fun drinking cold tea. Well, cold tea that's supposed to be hot. <laughs> you guys know what I meant. Jazz. Uh, she doesn't like Holly. I don't really have anything for her. I actually need to get to Clint's really quick. I want to process the geodes before he closes up shop at four. I keep finding things to pick up, though. I can pick up that crocus later. Sir Clint, process my geodes, please. Okay, nothing new there. Well, okay, if I didn't... Yeah, we need to donate a fire quartz, too. I was about to say, I probably actually need to donate one of those. So I guess let's do that right now. I'd utterly forgotten that those were things you had to donate. But I'm glad I noticed right now. Nothing in the way of rewards. Okay. I'm just gonna read that book we found. Secrets of the Legendary Fish. This is what I've been hoping we would find. Okay. Uh, cold tea. I always forget my tea when I'm drawing. <laughs> oh, you're an artist? That's, that's awesome. I used to draw a lot when I was younger, but these days I don't. And I wish I still did. Ugh. Alright, fishermen speak of five rare and unique fish that can only be caught by skilled anglers. Once caught, they will never appear again. I don't think that's true, actually. But, uh... The crimson fish lives in the warm ocean waters of summer. It's been sighted on the far eastern side of the beach. So, I did not catch that one yet, right? Far eastern side of the beach. Okay, I think I know what they're talking about. Glacier fish, which only appears in winter, can be caught off the southern tip of Arrowhead Island in Cinder Sap Forest, near where the river meets the ocean. I think I know what they're talking about there. The anglerfish has been spotted in fall, north of town where the river flows down from the mountains. And I'm pretty sure I caught that one already, didn't I? There's rumor of a strange twisted fish that lives in the sewer. We can't worry about that one yet. The final fish of a species never before caught is known simply as legend. It is rumored that he lives in a log submerged in the mountain lake and only ventures out on rainy spring days to nibble at the frog's eggs. Only the most skilled fishermen can hope to catch this one. It's the hardest one. There's one in spring. Okay. Train at fishing and be persistent and eventually you will catch these elusive fish. Make sure to respect the water and don't Removed too many fish from the ecosystem. <laughs> I've removed a lot of fish so far, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I think I can remember where most of these are. The thing that you really need to remember is that the spring fish only comes out on rainy days, so that's really important to remember. Otherwise, because you know, if you're there trying to catch them on a day when it's not raining. You're never going to find him. And you'll be sad. Okay, would you all like some gifts? Because I have them for you. Okay. There you go. 
so what are we gonna do now, guys? What is my fishing skill, by the way? How close am I to 10? Uh, skills. I am at 10. Beautiful. Uh, I wonder if... Maybe I'm gonna go try and catch that legendary fish. Just to see how difficult it is. Without extra tackle. Oh, hold up. I didn't bring hot peppers for the mayor, so never mind. He gets nothing. <coughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Everybody's converging around here. Haley, take this coconut. I've kept this for you. Oh my god, this is my favorite thing. Yeah, you're welcome. Now let's get out of here. It's not spring. Oh, I know. I'm talking about catching the winter legendary fish, the glacier fish. I don't remember exactly how to get to that spot, but it's somewhere around here, I think. No. It's down further. It off the oh, I think it's like right here. No, the southern tip of Arrowhead Island. what my wife says I don't listen and it's okay sometimes I I have a bad habit of just rambling and not really making a lot of sense with what I'm saying like it'll make sense in my head but the actual content of what I said was really hard to follow for the viewer so I apologize for that here we go I think this is it right here this is Arrowhead Island. You can tell because it's shaped like a big arrowhead. And this is the southern tip. So we just stand down here and cast down. And maybe we'll catch a legendary. Like so. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so they're pretty difficult. I don't know how I caught that first one on, like, the first try. That's, like, a miracle, honestly. <laughs> hey, always great commentary. Thank you. Thank you, Vonster. I appreciate you saying that, man. Wow, look at this. Look at that asshole. Yeah, so, okay. Look, I'm gonna try this, like, one more time. But this is meant to be very difficult and borderline impossible to do without the help of a tackle, so... I got kind of a big head because I caught that first one so easily, but it's, it's almost always not that easy. So, yeah, case in point. <laughs> Let's go do something else. <laughs> but I will try and make that happen before winter's over. I'll just have to buy a new rod and get, like, a, a couple... A couple trap bobbers, maybe. I'm honestly not sure what kind of tackle is best to use with a legendary. I would think that the trap bobber or the the one that makes it escape slower, whatever that one's called. I would think that would be the best. Ooh, I have so much stuff. Okay. Sold. 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 Oh, might as well sell all these crystal fruits too. <coughs> and the holly, actually. I don't know why. I don't know what holly's good for. Nobody seems to like it. 
And it poisons you when you eat it. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm just gonna sell all that garbage. And then let's take out some gifts. Because I have not been keeping up on this. Uh, jade. Okay. I was gonna say, I know I have more jade than that. I put it in here for some reason. Got it. No. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay, we want two of those. Two grapes. Pumpkins. Um, I remember that Abigail loves pumpkins. So if you're short on amethyst, you can give her pumpkins. But honestly, I'd rather keep those. For jack-o'-lanterns next year. And these are my last two leaks, but spring's right around the corner, so. No biggie on that. All right, that's enough gifts. I wonder if the creator will make another game. He has already said that he's working on another game. And he said that it's not a sequel to Stardew Valley, but it does take place in the Stardew Valley universe. So whatever that means. Oh, that's disgusting. Cold tea is not good. All right. You go in there. We actually have more time left than I thought we did. I'm gonna go do a little bit of farm work. Here at the end of the day. I really like that wood chopping sound effect. It doesn't actually sound like chopping wood, but it sounds gratifying. If that makes sense. What the hell is this thing? What is that? It looks like a tree made out of stone. Like a tree stump. Guys, I have no idea what this thing is right here. And if I mouse over it, I can like shake it let's try chopping it what oh was that gonna be a mushroom tree oh shit yeah so there's such a thing as mushroom trees in this game they're very rare to grow and i don't think they actually do anything for you i don't know <coughs> um they're very rare I don't think I've ever even seen one in any of my games, so that's why I had no idea what that was. If I see one again, I'll let it go and let it grow just so we can experiment and play with it. Yay, Dale's finally home and tuning in to chill. Glad you could make it, Dale. Thanks for hanging out with me, as always. So we made 5,000 gold from the winter seeds. We would have made more, but I, I used a lot of them for crafting. But yeah, I mean, that's not bad for 
growing crops in the winter, you know? <laughs> it's not a huge time investment, and it, there's a little bit of extra money in your pocket, so it's cool. Snow tomorrow. Luck is not great today. It's about right. Okay. Hey there, I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care. Oh, Robin gave me 50 wood. What a sweetheart. Um, let's see. What am I doing today? Should probably try and offload some of these gifts. I have a large egg. I think it's my first large egg, guys. That's going straight to the community center. I almost put it in the mayonnaise machine. <coughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, I've already been going for 90 minutes. I didn't realize. I may have to wrap this up soon, guys. It's just, it's so rough on my throat right now. But I want to keep playing. I love playing this game. And I love streaming. Damn this illness. Why can't it just leave me alone? Where have all the quests been? I haven't gotten a single quest. Oh, Sebastian's birthday. I didn't know that. Okay, let's, um... I don't think I have any frozen tears left, sadly. Piss. What else is he like? What else is he like, guys? I don't know what else he likes. I've got nothing. Uh, okay, let's actually go south. I want to get rid of this other present for the wizard. Do the hardwood farming, and then we'll make a pass to town. Maybe I'll think of something to give to him while we're doing this. I don't know. I think all the slimes actually stayed dead for once. That's awesome. That has not happened very many times during this playthrough. In fact, this might be the first time. Does anybody have any ideas about what Sebastian might love? Just based on the kind of person he is. Maybe they don't like the cold. I don't think they care about the cold, honestly. I think it's just a random chance. How about spoilers? <coughs> um, I don't know. I generally try to avoid looking stuff up, but I also break that rule a lot. Um, what was he talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't read whatever he was saying. You know what? I think it's okay in this instance because it is his birthday and I want to give him something good. Just to get that relationship up as quick as possible. 
with the things he loves, I don't think you have anything. Can, is there something that's easy to get? That I can do in less than a day? <laughs> I actually have over a thousand wood now, and it starts a new line when you get to 999. Do I know how to make pumpkin soup? I don't think so. Let me check my recipes. <sighs> the thing is, sometimes it's hard to find what you're looking for in here. Because I don't think there's any real organization to it. sashimi. I do know how to make... Ooh, I can make pumpkin. Look. I, I, I can make pumpkin soup, but I don't have milk. Uh, sashimi, I can make with any fish. Does he love sashimi? Because that's actually a lot easier to do than it is to make... Uh, to get a frozen tear. If that's the case, then hell, I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> And then I'll sell the frozen tears. That's a way better proposition. That's what the wiki says. Okay, let's try it. Any fish will work with sashimi according to that recipe. So I'm just gonna grab one fish. Doesn't even matter what it is. Look at that, tiger trout. <laughs> Alright, well, he's gonna get some rare sashimi. He better appreciate it. It's listed under best gifts. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's probably legit. Everybody has like five or six things that they love. It's not limited to just one thing. But it's it's hard to find out all of them, and it's hard to remember them. One sashimi has been made. Let's go give it to him. Uh, let's go this way. take one of these and you take that okay I want to see if there was a quest up but I'm dumb because I was already at that board today and I didn't see it there so yeah ooh before I forget I want to drop off that egg Wrong board. It's this one over here. Oh, and I could use the wool here too. Oh, that's a great idea. I forgot about that. I was just gonna give this to Emily, but screw that. It's going in there. So I need a large brown egg, large milk, or goat, or large goat milk and duck egg. Still going to be a little while till we can wrap that one up, but it feels good to make progress on it. Maru, what do I got for you? 
try giving her a topaz. Didn't love it. Okay. You get that. You're gonna get a crocus, my friend. Sebastian! Happy birthday! How do you like this? He loves it! Yeah! Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. Awesome. Thanks, Dale. Uh, let's check on that. We, we've already got him maxed out already, actually. Guys, I've been a lot better with gifts than I thought I was. Demetrius, George, and Pam are all maxed out, so I don't even have to worry about those three anymore. It's kind of awesome. Okay. But there's some folks that I have neglected. Evelyn, I feel like I've given her so many gifts, and she's only at one heart. I gotta figure out something she loves, I guess. Oh, and I can give gifts to Sandy now, too. Jeez. Okay, so Demetrius, George, and Pam. Their hearts are maxed. They're never going to drop. I don't have to give them things anymore. Demetrius, George, and Pam. Alright, let's... Uh, let's go try and find some more people. I also have to give gifts to Evelyn. I have no idea what she loves. Um, today she gets a crocus. Everybody seems to like crocus. Harvey's already closed because he's a douchebag. Should have been a doctor. Working those doctor hours. Nine to three. Kidding me? Emily, you were going to get the wool that you gave me, but I ended up using it for something else, so you get that instead. Gus? I wonder if Gus likes leaks. He likes them. Seems how I don't need them for George anymore. Might as well use them on him. Mayor already got his. Let's hit the beach. Hey look, I found a Nautilus shell. I think I just bought this from the frickin' traveling merchant the other day because I figured I would never find one. Oh well, I can sell this one. It'll work out. Oh, uh, what is wrong with my life? I finally get home to tune into your stream. My internet is brain farting and completely stops working. Oh, that sucks, dude. What are my future streaming plans? Um, so right now I'm focused on just trying to finish up what I had been streaming recently, which is Outer Wilds. And I'm also trying to finish up a lot of the YouTube series that I had started and never finished. So I streamed Sekiro the other night and I'm going to, I'm going to be basically alternating between Outer Wilds and Sekiro during weeknights. And then the weekends are for chill streams in Stardew Valley. Uh, once I finish Outer Wilds and Sekiro, I'm going to keep going back through my YouTube backlog. So games like uh, Mass Effect 2, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Night in the Woods, things like that. And then I'll basically be playing some of the, uh, the big AAA games that come out in the next couple months, like Cyberpunk, Resident Evil 3, stuff like that. 
Fishing hotspot. Don't think I can reach it. I can. Nice. So yeah, um, I don't really have a specific schedule. I'm sorry to say. I know that sucks for a streamer, but I, I basically just try to stream. I try to stream like once a day. I usually don't make it because that's how life works. I end up getting really sick or something happens at work or whatever. But yeah, I always post out on social media when I'm going to be going live. So if you'd like to know, you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook. And you can also enable notifications on Twitch if you're a Twitch follower. And just generally... So generally it's... It's in the evenings on weekdays. And it's in the mornings on weekends. And then the game is going to be Stardew Valley on weekends. And whatever I feel like playing on weekdays, whatever I'm trying to finish up that day, you know? Oh, a regular sea cucumber. Nice. Can't reach this damn hotspot now. There we go. Yeah, I've got a lot of loose ends to tie up. It's... It's probably the thing that sucks most about my channel is I, I just I start a lot of games and then I take too long to finish them and I start playing other games and I end up with a lot of unfinished series and I don't like doing that but that's just kind of how it works out Got a squid. Awesome. That's yeah, quite valuable, I believe. I need like a perfect cast to reach this hot spot, and I can't get that every time. And it's gone, so it doesn't matter. Okay. a fair amount of money from this stuff today, I think. Go back to Submerged. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like four years since I played that. <coughs> I could go back to it, but I'd have no idea what the hell's going on. of this garbage here. Yeah. Alright, that's a lot of stuff we just sold. I always forget if I did, actually did my chickens in the morning or not. And then I got to go in and look. Yeah, I did. Okay. One mayonnaise to sell because I donated the other one. That's right. That's right. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's continue Operation Farm cleanup for the rest of the night. I should watch my own series to refresh myself. Yeah. I actually used to do that. I, I was, I'm such a narcissist that way back in the early days of my channel, I used to like watch my own videos back after I recorded and edited them. I would watch the whole thing in its entirety 
just to make sure I was like completely happy with it. And nowadays I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> your re1 remake replay i haven't played that game since it came out in like 2000 what was it 2003 i think I definitely have enough money and resources to upgrade my coop right now, but I think I'm going to save all my money for the night market, guys. In fact, before I end this, I'm going to run back over and just check the calendar to see when that is. I think it's coming up soon. My internet's finally back, although it lags like hell. Is there no good internet provider in the world? No, because they're all jerks. They're all more concerned with profit than they are providing a good service. Don't worry, Dale. This this stream's about to end anyway. I gotta I gotta stop, dude. Yeah, the night market's in like five days. Oh shit. I'm not gonna have enough money for everything I want by then, but that's okay. Crap, we just picked up. Sell that. And that is bedtime. Okay, guys. I apologize. I, I would love to keep going. I wish I could stream this longer today, but I'm just, I'm dying here. And I'm tired of coughing right in your face. I apologize for that. I just can't get past this cold, man. It just, it won't go away. So, um... But yeah, assuming I'm not like totally dead tomorrow, I, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, well, evening probably, with probably Outer Wilds, because I haven't played that in a while and I don't want to start forgetting a ton of stuff about it. I want to keep going with it. I love that game. It's just, it's so hard to make progress in it that I got a little discouraged, but I, I'm going to go back to it tomorrow, I think. And then um, I'll probably do Sekiro on Tuesday. That's the tentative plan for right now. Um, so, yeah, anyways, thanks all for hanging out, guys. Hope you had fun. Sorry for the sickness. But, uh, you guys have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Well,